Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool floral design uh, border on your website. As you see, this is my new website. I am working on it. Uh, people were like, where the hell is your website? Well, I'm working on it right now, man. I'm making it better. So here it is. And I'm going to show you how to make this cool little floral design. A nice little addition to your website. And you can do this with any picture, any pattern that you want. It doesn't have to be a floral design. It could be a, a big picture. Or maybe like, yeah, maybe a picture of you just like right behind, like hiding behind the website. You can even do that. Um, the There is like no limit for this. So what we're going to need is Dreamweaver and Photoshop. Two Adobe products that are very keen in this in this procedure. Okay, so first of all, let's open up a new um, page. Here, I have this one right here. Uh, and what we want to first do is find the length of our website. I know mine is a thousand, but I but you can try to figure yours out by um, looking like clicking on the whole website template right here and going to the bottom, finding width is a thousand. You can also take um, MS or Microsoft Paint and print screen it and see exactly the length. Um, I would suggest doing that if you're going to do that, doing it in like your browser so you can get the actual length. Um, but I'm not sure if that's going to be precise enough for you. Uh, you know, you can try it out if you want to do that way. Or you can just, you know, click on that. And if you can't find it, it's right here. Okay, so once you have the length of your image, we're going to go and hop over to Photoshop. Basically, we're going to be creating something like this. So we need to go to File, New, and our width is going to be about, let's say, well, my website was a thousand. It was a thousand pixels. So our new width is going to be a thousand and eighty. So I'm adding, uh, or actually eleven hundred. I'm adding fifty more pixels on each side of the template. Basically, that's what I'm doing. So, and the height will make it seven hundred. Just enough for the floral background to repeat a few times, so you can kind of see it. If you're not going to use a floral background and you don't want it to repeat, don't do that. Make it as small or as, as small as the image that you're going to use or whatever. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, grab this marquee tool and make the style a fixed size. And for the selection, make it the, your actual website size for the width. And the height can stay at 720. I'll just click and it should select right here. Uh, before we do that, actually, let's create a new layer and then click. And we'll alt backspace for the color to change the color to uh, black. That's all I did is just hit alt backspace and you can change the color real quickly. Um, and now we're going to select the, actually hit control D to unselect. Go back to layer 2, select the whole thing just like that and go to layer uh, lane lay align layers to section selection sorry and horizontal centers and that'll center the whole uh, selection the marquee selection that you just made okay now we it's time to uh, oh actually before we do anything more we need to change the background color um, the background color we need to change to the website actual the website background color uh, what I did, well, I mean, I already knew it, but what you can do is, again, Microsoft Paint, like, print screen it, and just select it, and then open it up, open that picture up in Photoshop, and then just eye drop it, and that's basically how I did it for mine, but you can, you know, get, then, if you, like, have an actual BG color, you can, I mean, that's the easy way, if you don't, if, let's say you didn't want to code, you could do that way, but if, if you know someone about coding, BG color, you can use that color right there, FFFF. So I'm just going to take it from this thing right here. Yeah, that's not FFFF. <laughs> I don't know where I got FFFF from, but I did. All right, so we'll just alt backspace again to get that. All right, and now it's time for the brush. So we're going to grab the brush tool. And what I did was download like a floral design. You can download any brush. or it, This is where you would put your picture in. And um, so here's my brush. I found this nice one right here and it doesn't fit so I'm going to just resize it a little bit so it can fit right on the thing right, that's good and I'll change the color to black so when I or actually yeah I'll change the color to black okay and just put it on and what I'm going to try to do is just make it so it looks like it's kind of overlap it so it looks like it's re constantly repeating 
Okay, and then to, as you see, it, it doesn't have a mirrored image, so we have to mirror it, um, or rotate it. So go to Window, and then Brushes, or F5, and um, make sure you're on Brush Tip Shape, and Flip X. And then you can just redo it on this side, just like that. I mean, I'm, soon, I'm doing a pretty sloppy job, but that's basically the concept of what you're doing. And this is for brushes again. So um, there we go. And again, you're just repeating it enough so you can so the so when you put it into Dreamweaver, it'll repeat and it'll look just like it did before. Um, it's basically what you're trying to do. Okay. Um, now what we're gonna do is file save for web and devices and save as a JPEG and then save and we'll save it in here again so uh... yeah this is untitled 3 i guess or we can call it border and we'll change the oh, and make sure it's just as an image Okay. and there we go so that's all i have to do in photoshop let's go over to dreamweaver again and now we need to create the actual um, the coding part so again select on the whole website and we need to create a div so go to common right here and insert div tag make it a wraparound selection and for the ID we'll call it border okay and go to style or whatever your CSS is and the new right click new and make it a compound and we'll just get rid of this table just have it border hashtag border and hit OK and go to box or uh, yeah box and for the width we're gonna make it one or uh, eleven hundred okay so now we have this div that's around our our website with extra space and what this what this allows us to do is make a basically insert an image behind the website which is really cool or the website template so we'll click on border again and go to background and insert the background image which we called it border Hit apply and okay as you see we have this nice little floral design and it repeats quite nicely it doesn't repeat great but it repeats quite nicely and let's preview it in Firefox and there we go you can also do this with like maybe a drop shadow or something like that it's very 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 uh, useful to do. And that's basically how you add a floral border design to your website. Hope this tutorial was helpful and don't forget to check out um, my, my channel, subscribe, and make sure you wait for my new my new awesome website that's coming out real soon. Yeah, this is it. What's up, man? Yeah, I'm gonna actually make some more. I'm, I'm working on it, trust me. I'm working very, very, very slowly on it, but I will be. I, it'll probably be finished by the end of the summer. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.